What's up, y'all? And welcome back. Today we are back with a new tutorial, and this is from Soul Wigs Hair. Listen, when I say this is the best, this is the best straight wig I have ever, ever, ever did a review on. Period. Listen, I ain't have to do nothing but bleach the knots on this wig. I ain't have to pluck it or nothing, child. And it was so full, so pretty, so perfect. And I'm going to show you how I styled it doing this arrogant inspired look. This arrogant hair inspired look, which was a simple middle part. But y'all, here go me and my cornrows. I had just washed my hair. But I want to show you guys and talk to you about this hair growth oil that I am using. This growth oil is from Crown Me Fab. That is her name on Instagram. And I will have her details down below this is her hair growth oil and i say it smells so good it gives you that great tingly peppermint feeling and it has that peppermint smell my scalp feels rejuvenated and just so pores just like so open feels so clean and once again this is crown me fab hair oil so please be sure to buy that check that out i highly highly recommend now now I don't bleach the knots on this wig. I want to show you guys this raw, raw hairline. I didn't have to do anything to this wig. It was just like bleach and put on, blow dry, period. Now this is what the hairline looks like. No plucking, like I said, I didn't pluck at all. I love them wigs, just be so convenient, so easy for me. All I did was bleach these knots. But let's go ahead and jump right into this tutorial. And I have a surprise for y'all. I had went and got me some bold hold active yes honey from the hair diagram on the hair diagram.com try her out bold hold lace products when i tell y'all this glue was everything everything like even after the first layer it was ready to stick honey but i did go ahead and do about three maybe four layers using this bold hold glue now in this part, I'm just talking because y'all already know how to prep, go put the wig on, cut around the ears, and so on and so on. But we're going to jump right into actually gluing this wig down, honey. And like I said, this is the Bold Hold Active. This is not the regular one that's in the blue and white paper, the Bold Hold. This is the one for people who sweat more, maybe work out and everything like that. The bomb, diggity.com. Now y'all know I always use my Ghost Bond and I love to buy it because it's very convenient right there in the hair stores and I'll be needing that glue right then and there. But guys, if you have some glue right now, but you really wanna try this glue out, just go ahead and purchase it so it can be on its way until you ready. So I went ahead and did the same way that I applied my ghost bond. I did my three to five layers. Let each layer dry clear before um, applying the next one. But now I'm gonna go ahead and begin to pull that lace down into that glue. Now, the benefits of this glue compared to the ghost bond. Now, when I do this step with that ghost bond, the wig still may lift up and I have to be glued aside. But when I tell you, when I pulled this lace down into that glue, it was stuck. I mean, it was stuck. All I had to do was cut that extra lace off and tack them little corners that were still lifted. Like this glue got me snatched, honey. Snatched. I don't even want to take this wig off, y'all. It is so perfect. And that glue got that lace holding on so damn good. Like big thumbs up to sew wigs. Big thumbs up to Bold Hold and big thumbs up to this oil in my scalp that got my hair feeling so clean and so fresh. So, make sure y'all check them out. All details will be listed down below, honey. But let's get back into this tutorial. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut that extra lace off and I'm going to use my eyebrow razor. Start off with my scissors, slit it down the middle to make it easier for me to cut the extra off. But I'm going to go ahead and cut off that extra lace, cut it off, cut it off. And be careful guys, be careful, you do not want to cut yourselves. So please take your time and cut off that extra lace. And I'm just going to proceed with going ahead and like I said before, tacking down those little corners below. Well, that's still lifted. Now, about this wig, like I said, guys, this wig is thebomb.com. Like, it was already pre-plucked. All I had to do was bleach it, blow dry it, you know, and put it on and style it. And this hair is extremely soft. This is like a 20, maybe 22-inch wig. It's just, like, perfect. It's nice and full. And it's a 13 by 6, which means I can part it back 6 inches. 
and it has more space to the top it's wider so guys this wig is awesome 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 sauce please go ahead and just use my coupon code and get you one so let's just go ahead and get one if you wasn't sure be sure like this is what you need in your life easy peasy lemon squeezy and this glue just makes it so much better i ain't even have to do too much with this wig like i love it love it love it but now that we're all glued down let's just go ahead and tie down our um frontal with um you know some wrap or whatever like that something to give you a nice tight hold and i let that sit for about five minutes and i removed it and this is what it looks like after i took off the uh, wrap from around my edges and i'm just parting through it so you guys can see honey scalp 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 tease scalp tease baby so now for today's look we will be doing an arrogant tay inspired look and if you have checked out the thumbnail then you already see the comparison honey and when i try to do these nail to failed episodes baby i try to get that thing down to the teeth so even how the baby hairs was placing everything like i am doing my best to achieve this look so if you don't know what nail to fail is it's a series i started on my channel where i try to mimic a very popular look that is trending and do my best to copy the look and then you guys will let me know if I nailed or if I failed so go ahead and in the comments let me know did I nail this look or did I fail this look now however I am using that carrot care wax stick and I'm going to use my hot comb to actually you know hit the roots of this but you want to be very careful because you do not want to burn yourself and you do not want to burn the hair off. So make sure you test your hot comb on some paper towel or something. If it turns black, it is too, too hot. You want to wait for it to turn light brown. Then it is safe to use. So now that we did went ahead and did all of that. And we are sectioning off our baby hairs. Now, when it came to the placement of the baby hairs, I pretty much studied the picture. And I tried to do the same amount of baby hairs and like around the same area of placement. So um, I just went ahead and made little sections and I just like pulled the hair down. And the reason why you see me parting like in that, like creating a triangle in the center because I noticed with that hair picture like they pull the big well arrogant hey, like part of the baby hair is kind of like in a triangular motion based on how the baby hairs was laid like it was more laid to the front and then swooped to the back so like i said when i do these nelafell episodes i try to get it to look as identical as possible even though we may have different hair shapes and so forth and so forth but this is my job to bring you guys the slaves so here i am now I'm going to go ahead and cut them baby hairs down to an inch or less because we need it to be very, very easy to swoop, of course. And in my baby, here we go, my new boot, the Nairobi's Foam Lotion. And I'm just going to go ahead and lay that in the center of my parts. I'm going to tap some on top of where I'm going to create my baby hairs. And I'm also going to put it in the front of my hairline in general. So then when I swoop those hairs, it just fall right on me and nice and smooth. Now I just want to go ahead and give myself a round of applause because I've never laid these baby hairs on myself on camera without having to stop and go finish in the bathroom. So yay to me. I am so proud of myself that I told y'all every time it's so hard. It's so hard for me to do my baby hairs on camera. And I, when I say I did the damn thing, I did the damn thing on baby hairs. It's all in the fingers, guys. And y'all know I usually use my comb, but honestly, I went and just got me this little edge brush, and it made my job so much easier because the teeth are nice and small. You can comb right through them baby hairs nice and smooth, and you can use the brush in to brush it down. And this Nairobi's foam lotion is just so perfect because as I'm swooping my baby hairs, my lace is not lifting, and the hair is just swooping so simple and so easy. Guys, get you some of this, okay? I got this from my local beauty supply hair store. It was $13. I don't know how much it's going to cost in the stores near you. But listen, baby, get you some. You better look on Amazon somewhere and find it. Like, get you some Nairobi's 
phone. Now I'm just going to go ahead and swoop them baby hairs on the other side. And then once I finish swooping my baby hairs to the T, I'm going to go ahead and take that same wrap and tie my edges down and let that dry because you want this to dry completely. And then once it dries, you can go ahead and remove it and then you can comb the baby hairs out if they are hard and then just continue with styling. So I'm going to go ahead and tie that down. And then I let that sit for about 10 minutes. Also off camera, I just went ahead and blow dried it at the same time while the wrap is on there to kind of speed up the process. And this is what it looks like once I remove that wrap. And voila. So this is how it looks as soon as I, oh yes, honey, melt, baby, melt. We is melting, y'all. Can we just say lace melt? Yes, Miss Boho, yes. I am loving this, loving this, loving this wig, loving this glue, loving this mousse, just everything. It's just a bomb.com in this video. But however, you just want to go ahead and comb out those baby hairs. And then I'm going to go back in with my Carol Carol Wax Stick just to get that hair very sleek and laid down. Because when Arrogant Tay do his styles, when I tell y'all they be laid, it don't be not a hair out of place. So I just really want to give y'all that nail bit effect. Like... I wanted to nail it in this video, and I think I did a damn good job. So, let me know what y'all think down in the comments, nail or fail. I am so excited, as y'all can tell from my voiceover, to bring y'all this new content, baby. New products, new content, new wig, new everything. Like, I am just loving it. So, I'm just right here. I'm just combing it out and trying to get the baby hairs to match. And just trying to get the style to look exactly like the picture that is in the thumbnail so i'm going to take my wax again like i said smooth it out i want to make sure every hair is in place and then i will be back with the finishing results oh my god y'all it's just like so perfect like i cannot find a flaw with this install oh yes i did <laughs> my part so this is the trick that i mentioned before in my last video that i said if you have a little over bleach by mistake in a little area, I just see how I just lay my scissors right on my part and I use that black spray to just clean that part right on up. And these are the finishing results. Y'all let me know, did I nail or did I fail this look? But once again, I wanna thank you guys for tuning in to I Am Beautiful Hustler channel. Until next time.